Hello guys and welcome back to Legos Island. So it is Friday, March 31st, 2023 and as you can tell by the title of this video, we not only have two final anniversary gifts to open, but we also have the four year anniversary of the water park. With that being said, let's jump into it. The last time I accessed Legos Island was free 31 23 at 11.03 p.m. to make the mini events. Which took, I don't know, maybe about like 10 to 20 minutes to make. And the hat only took maybe like 2 to 3 minutes to make. But that does not really matter. Anyway, let's go showcase those last two anniversary gifts first before we head over to the water park. But first, let's see what dogs we get for the day. Rez, Jack Lantern, and Lockie. Instead, we're actually going to be taking three dogs related to water and cake because it's an anniversary, making four dogs total, making a reference to four years. Busting open this anniversary gift, we have the turtle shell. Perfect reference, because guess what? We're going to need that today, because guess what? Going freaking underwater today. With all of that in mind, the last anniversary gift is in the village, specifically right here. The Red Miner's Helmet. Let's pick it up and let's put it on. Now, on to the water park. All right, we are here at the water park. So now we're just gonna straight up just put this back on considering, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need that for this video. Anyway, a majority of decorations are still here from the anniversary party. But now, as you may notice, we got tons of new decorations exclusive to this mini event, which is only obviously one day, March 31st. Now, you're probably wondering, where the frick is the hat? Simply put, it is right down here. Going underwater, we have the Water Park 4th Anniversary hat. Let's put it on. Seriously, I love how convenient this is now. Freaking love how convenient that is now. Makes it way more useful. Yeah, now I don't need to go into my inventory every freaking time I want to do that. I find this very convenient. Anyway, jumping down into the water via the number four, we can also find another item. The arrow of water breathing. So, technically speaking, if we were to shoot this, technically speaking, we would technically now have water breathing. Assuming it works. Does it work? Ah, well. But, either way, that's really cool. Actually, hold on. Let me actually fix that real quick. That's not supposed to be like that one sec. There we go. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. Oh, yeah, I never went into the temporary rooms for the anniversary party this whole time. I do greatly apologize, but you guys know what they are by now. Or if you happen to be new to this series, um, you can go watch the older videos, because I have plenty of those. Anyway. We got a ton of anniversary streamers all around here as well. All the cakes are still here from the 6th anniversary party of Legos Island, so that's mainly it for up here. Jumping down here, we have even more decoration, specifically right here, and all throughout here. We have a number 4 made out of Deep Slate Lapis. Anyway, even more streamers around here, and also the umbrellas, like the number 4 over here, is made out of Deep Slate Lapis. It looks really cool. We have one final item in this party. The Potion of Water Breathing. And now that'll actually give us water breathing for the next eight minutes. So that is pretty sweet. Anyway, with all of that in mind, uh, yeah, I tried making the hat as light blue as possible to kind of match the water breathing potion color. Hopefully I uh, did a good job on that, kind of. I almost did it. I was almost there. Anyway, it didn't need to look exactly identical, but it would have been nice. But nothing really is at this point. And it doesn't matter. Anyway, 
Point is, that is really cool. And that was the last item in the event, by the way. So no more items. And specifically speaking, that is technically it for the event itself. Like, that's it. Normally, it's just the top and bottom part of the water park. Normally, over here doesn't get decorated because I normally just don't feel like it. I think last year it was... Granted, though, I did start making this last minute, so that can also probably explain. Which it is true, actually. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of making this last minute, so that can also explain why it's a little bit small. And I think it might be a bit smaller compared to the previous year, but that's completely fine. It doesn't have to look big every year. <coughs> hint, hint, hint. Wait till we get to next year on Easter. Which, speaking of which, next year, the five-year anniversary of the water park literally lands on Easter, so that's pretty freaking nuts. We're going to be showcasing the Easter event alongside the water park anniversary next year. I just remembered and just realized. Yeah, that's not a joke. Come back to me in a year if I'm still doing this island by then. So anyway, with that being all said, that's it. That is it for this entire mini event. So guys, what do you guys think of this mini event? Of course, it'll only be up for one day, and then I'll clean up not just that, but the entirety of the anniversary party, which I might start out in advance now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode on April 1st for the anniversary, uh, sorry, the April Fool's Day party for 2023. I'll see you all next time. And hopefully, unlike last year, I actually get it out at the proper time. Not 10 days late.